Welcome back to Clear Picture Cares, the podcast that you go to to learn more about what we're doing right here in the Low Country with local nonprofits and charities that are serving our community. Welcome back, Lynette. I'm so excited to have you Jason, back. Jason, we're doing it again. I know. It was Let's about a year fun. ago. Let's do it. Okay, so Lynette Duggins, for those who don't know, you better call somebody, but <laughs> introduce you again, teach a supply closet, and we met a year ago. But that was, you know, we did it remotely. So thank you for coming into the office today so we could meet. But let's talk about Teacher Supply Closet. You're serving K-1 schools throughout the three counties here in the low country. About how many schools are you serving now? We're serving 72 schools. Okay, one. Qualified school. And let me make it clear. The district provide us with these schools, Jason. Okay. So it's not like I pick the schools or anything. They provide us with the list every July of the Title I qualified schools. So share with us, what does the teacher supply closet do? What we do, Jason, and we're so excited to do it, is we provide free supplies for our teachers in Title I schools. And those schools are brought to us by the counties, Charleston, Berkeley, and Dorchester County. They provide us with the list. We do not make the list up. We do not. The schools district provide us with those qualified Title I schools. And then what happens on Mondays and Wednesdays, our volunteers come and pack the carts. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, more volunteers come and drop the supplies in the teacher's cart. What the teachers do is they go online and they order their supplies for through us, online service. Okay. So COVID was wonderful for us because it provided us with a better operation of teacher supply closet. So... You know, my children are going back to school and we got the list from the school about all the things they need to get. Right. Um, and we were able to do that. But let's say um, my wife and I were not able to That's with great. lack of finances or just, you know, paycheck to paycheck. How does Teacher Supply Closet step in in that situation? That's what we do all the time for our teachers. We've been around since 2007. And what we do is we allow those teachers who need support for those families who, as you said, sometimes cannot afford to buy supplies. So they come in and they register and they go online and provide those lists for us to grant those supplies that the teachers does not have to come out their pockets to have the extra supplies they need for the school year teachers to the sum of probably 550 to $700 a year, we save them that dollar back. Oh, wow. We save them. Each teacher that comes through that door receives 700 or more in school supplies because we pr- provide those supplies for each student in their classrooms. Yeah, and something I learned over the last year is, you know, the, the students that – come in and they have all the supplies that are needed well that runs out it does and then the the teachers feel like they're going to come back and shell out their own money it does it does uh jason even to the paper they need to copy we provide that for them the teachers one ream of paper per teacher visit because sometimes they have to run off things for the classroom so that's provided for them we are associated with Joann's. We get supplies, leftover holidays, okay. things, and we provide that for the classroom decorations. So it's a lot of that. It's the regular supplies that they need, the hygiene products as we had to go to and provide that, um, and even toothpaste and toothbrush. We have a package for that because that was a, a desired list. After each year, we ask, we do a survey and they ask, well, what else can we do to increase what y'all need from us as an organization? Now, to learn more about Teacher Supply Closet, right below this video, there will be a link that you can click on. goes right to the website. But for those who are not seeing this, Mm -hmm. they're listening in, what's the website they could go to? www.teachersupply.org. That's an easy one. That's right. And that's two S's, teachers and supply. Thank you for making sure that's clear for everyone that's watching and listening. Okay, so since the last time we met, Mm -hmm. I understand that last year there was – over 13,000 teachers visited yes, and over 321,000 students were helped out. We are ready again. <laughs> so that's some good numbers, Jason. Wonderful. 8.3 million in the value of those supplies. That's incredible. That's- and so, you know, partnering with ABC, making sure we got the word out last year, we're doing it again this year. We are so grateful. 
we got this we got the kids going back to school and right. things are happening right here in a low country this is an important uh mission that you're focusing on yes. however with any mission and any focus there's always always headwinds that come that's in that's right that's right are you at the point you in our conversation you want to talk about the headwinds headwinds the well, things that you're facing that well, you need help with we, volunteers please volunteers Let's not forget the dollars. <laughs> Always take care of the dollars now. And then, you know, we want the district to and that to afford us some place to go as Charleston County School District has. If there's any property or, or permanent home our district could offer teachers a black closet or any sponsor or any big company, come and see what we are about. Um, get a tour, see how we support our teachers and students. But there is a big need for those things. Uh, corporate dollars, you know, we compete with Dominion and Public, Dominion Energy and Public. They're great sponsors for us, mm -hmm. along with the rest of our school supply drives like the David Weekly and Jeff Cook and those guys. They, they have done those good school supply. Came Bay out there with all our water we had the other day. Oh, yeah. They did a school supply drive. Lots of supplies came in that Monday, dropped it off. And we had to shut down to be safe. So those kind of things, um, our media coverage, all three of our channels are gracious for us. And yes. we appreciate it. We appreciate that. And just we need you. We need a community, even down to even if teachers want to come in and drop a few dollars for the budget. <laughs> yeah. what, there's a budget. There's a budget because free isn't always free. We got to buy for free. <laughs> That that yes, that's a that's a great takeaway for those that are watching and listening. Mm -hmm. Free isn't always free, right. and so a relocation of the of your headquarters mm -hmm. that could cause an issue. So, a, a a person who's watching and listening right now, they have real estate mm -hmm. that might be something to to, uh, to to reach out and talk about. That's so, right. Share share if you are able to take care of our need. Um, we have an operation where we have a room in Charleston County School District classroom for our overflow that we bring to the shopping area where we go up and down aisles to pack the carts. So we've got two spots, but we need to grow. Mm -hmm. We need to grow. And we're asking the community and big corporate sponsors and anybody who's big, just take care of us <laughs> somehow. <laughs> take care of us by way of property. Okay, now I, you know, so that's great that we got the word out to those that are big. But let's mm -hmm. say it's it, it, I'm small, right? Right. But what you're doing really resonates with me, and I want to give back in some way. So, as a volunteer, like, what are some of the things that I would be doing? You would come in and help pack the carts, mm -hmm. and that's on Mondays and Wednesdays. Our volunteers are there right now getting us ready for the September shopping. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we will have the teachers come in and pick up their supplies. Okay. So those volunteers will remove the ordered online orders and put it in the trunks of the cars. Okay. So I'm picking up what you're putting down. I, I'm a teacher mm -hmm. at a K-1 school, mm -hmm. right? And I could go in oh, online yes. and put in my order. Right. With Qualified teacher. teacher qualified teacher. Yes, and then I could come in later in the week and then I could pick up because the volunteers are taking those orders and getting everything fill, all set fill up. Those orders, yes. The, now, you also said, and I want to make sure I understood it, I as a teacher could go and shop for the supplies? No. 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 They used to do that. Okay. Since COVID, thank you, COVID, um, we do it online and our volunteers prepare the carts for them to come and pick up. So it saves the teachers that much more Done. time. That, yes, yes. They're able to get the stuff that they need. need. Right. And they quickly come in and we put it in their cars or their trunks and they just go about their business. Because we know teachers got a lot to do, Jason. They have a lot to do. They have to keep in mind taking care of our children. So we're making it very easy for them just to go online. We pack it and we put it in their car and they drive off. Okay. Happy. It's like Christmas for them. Sometimes they get out the car. Oh, ooh, can I help you? Uh, no. And this is COVID time. Everybody's got their mask on and everything. No, no, no. Stay in your car. Stay in your car. And and we put it in their 
Trump, but they want to get out and feel it. Yeah. <laughs> they want to get out of their car <laughs> and feel what they ordered and be very happy. So share with us a, a story that you heard from a, a teacher or a student about the impact that your organization is making. A teacher from a school close to where we are headquartered now sent us a, a nice letter saying, I couldn't do this without you. We couldn't do this without you. And on the other side, we asked each teacher when they leave to make sure to have the students send us a letter or thank you note. So when we send it, send our adult our sponsors and donors, we send them that handwritten from the children. Mm. So that's an impact for them to give more. Yes. So it's twofold. We ask the teachers to give us some type of testimony and the students to write us thank you notes. And that gets out to the community as well. So do you have any like big events coming up that we should know about? Our board of directors are thinking about having an event as a fundraiser for those um, sponsors or those people who thought of the idea back in 2007. Okay. So that's something the board is looking for. So they decided to do that. Where could people go to to learn more about that event? That's in the planning stage. That's in the planning yes. stage. Yes, it's in the planning So go stage. visit the website. Yeah. Go visit the website. We'll keep you informed. We'll keep you informed on yes. the website. Yes. yes. So, so you know, with the impact from last year, it's so great. This is the first time I met with anyone here on Clear Picture Cares one year later. So is there anything that you could share with us over the last year that you've seen or that the organization has gone through that you want to share with us? Giving, mm. more giving. We are out there in the community and we're getting more um, sponsors. We're getting more donors, and but we're, we're doing well, but we need to continue to do better as a community to support teachers and students and our, who we are accountable for because we want to make sure those children are learning and getting what they need in those classrooms. They have to. I think about when my single mother of four, uh, we would have been eligible for, for this service. So life is, is, is going to be okay. <laughs> well, it, life is, yes, that was something that I would hear from my parents and my grandparents is everything will be okay right. um, by the grace of God, yes. and, and, and but also the community. That's right. That's right. Right. You, got, you can't do it all on your own. No, no. No. So you've seen the community come closer together. They are coming class. closer together because of a lot of our um, big sponsors coming in to show it. Yes. So the big sponsors come in and then maybe their employees come in. But yes. then also this, th this podcast, Clear Picture Cares, is to create even additional awareness for those right. who are, you know, because my headquarters, my office, my company's headquarters are in Kansas City, Missouri. Okay. And I would say if I'm in Kansas City, Missouri, they're going to be mad at me. It's Kansas City, Kansas, <laughs> Overland Park, Kansas. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I said Missouri. But what I'm getting at is, and by the way, they're Chiefs fans, which I don't even want to get to it right now. I want to ask your team because <laughs> I'm a football buff. Dude. You are? Okay, we're going to talk about that in a moment. But – like they will have like charitable events right there in their neck of the woods. And that right. makes a lot of sense. Right. We have a lot of employees there right. here in Charleston. We have four employees and we're growing. Right. But what we want to be is involved in our local community. Right. So this is really a podcast for those who are near retirement, retired, oh, yeah. or they work for those smaller businesses. Yes. They don't have, right. you know, big, big papa and dad, well, mom yeah. and daddy coming, coming down and saying, Hey, we're going to do X, Y, or Z. Right. <laughs> we'll match the donation. Yes. And yes. so there's people yes. right now that are watching and listening. You have the time, you have the talent, you have the treasures. Yes. T a teacher supply clause is resonating with you. This is where we go to the website, right. learn yes. more. Yes. And if you're a bigger, if you're the mom and papa that we're talking about, <laughs> the bigger, go check them out, yes, right? Go yes. do, go tour, do a tour. Yes. yes These are the yes, things come. that we really feel like to help. Come, come. We also have a lot of businesses like the SCRA, um, the banks, Rev Banks, they come as a group of employees to volunteer and bring dollars also. So I encourage different um, businesses to come as a group because sometimes those they get time off to volunteer. 
So come and do that as a group, and they they enjoy themselves. You know? So let's talk about football now. All right. Who's your team? Las Vegas. Oh, oh yeah, the Raiders. The Raiders. But I remember Madden. Oh, so, so you're going back and then. That's, that's the only team I was loyal to. They had the spikes on the shoulder pads yes. and everything. Yeah, all this, this but I've never been to that stadium. She's wearing that. Raiders colors even. I mean, that's this is incredible. Do. That's what we do. <laughs> now, I've been to Dallas with a girlfriend, her team. But I've never the Cowboys. To, yeah. Have you seen? Did you go to that new stadium they have oh, out yeah. there, Jerry World? Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, incredible! Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They 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 did it right when they built. But the, the I mean the new Raider Stadium is something oh, yeah. that I want to check out. Uh, me too. And your team? Well, I used to be an Eagles fan, okay. but then they traded away like some of the major players, yeah, like right. McNabb and Dawkins. Yeah, yeah. And my mom raised me to be a Broncos fan, so I had a. Oh. a Yes. Well, she's from Denver. Broncos. Broncos. I know, right? And we're still talking. Imagine this. Well, there hasn't really been a competition for a while, unfortunately. We'll see what this season does. Yeah. Well, so we're going to have to make a small wager on us. Come out of Denver. She was like, you had to say that team, right? Blame it on my mom. But hey, you don't say no to mom. No, I'm not saying mom rules. Mom rules. She, she said, the dad may be the head of the household, but I'm the neck and I'll tell him where to look. And you don't argue with that. I'm one of them moms. <laughs> one time. Just one time I'm a mom. So as we wrap up our conversation, I I love the question that I ask because I hear amazing answers every single time. And I'm wondering, you know, over time, how that answer could change to, on who I'm asking. But if you could impart with us the importance of giving back and the value that is received by giving back to the community, what would that be? I would start, Jason, with volunteering. Because hmm. volunteering, you're putting yourself in it. But you could send your dollars to put yourself in it also. What I've seen since I became the executive director is the volunteers love it. Hmm. It makes them feel good to come in there and do what... And they run it, I'm telling you. I've got a couple, Alan and Mary Oliver, that they direct all the volunteers, okay? They wanted to come out Friday, Jason. I said, no, you're not coming out here. They live all the way in summer, retired. This is Debbie when we had that major storm. Debbie, we that had Debbie, Debbie come girl. in. And so they yes. were like that committed. They're like, we're coming in. Yes, and I had to stop. Hmm. I had to stop. There's flood going on. <laughs> In Berkeley County, Dorchester County. Yes. They live in Berkeley County. Oh, goodness. But they wanted to come to Charleston County because, of course, it wasn't that impactful in Charleston County. But I said, no, please don't go in there. Please just don't go in there. But that's the the impact they they present for us as an organization. And they've been volunteering with you for a while Long now? Long time. Long time? Long time. So when I hear that story, I'm very impressed mm -hmm. with that level of commitment. Yes. But I would bet not knowing them. Mm -hmm. They didn't start that way. They started just by dipping their toe in that's, and getting involved. That's right, Jason. I mean, when I got there, they had it well outlined, well organized. It, it, it was to them, that's, oh my goodness, these people really love what they're doing. So volunteering and then the dollars. Now, I know that uh, nonprofit always need more dollars than volunteers, but I treasure the volunteers. I call them my value, yes. volunteers. Well, thank you for sharing that insight. And for those that are watching and listening, the message that I want to convey is get started. Yes. Get started. I mean, even if it's donating your time and you're going out, mm -hmm. you don't know what the process is. You don't know what's going on. But what you do have is your heart's in the right place. And you're going to be surrounded by other people that also care. That's right. That's why we call it Clear Picture Cares. We care. Yes. So if you care, and you do, yes, you do, go step into whatever that may be with your time, with your treasures, with your talents, mm -hmm. and you will be re reaching out to us, thanking us because you took the time to listen, to watch and listen. I want to thank you for coming out here. Always a lot of fun. I love you, Jason. I appreciate the work Thank that you're doing. Thank you so doing. much for taking care of us. The Lynette Duggins. Oh, my goodness gracious. At Teacher Supply Closet. Go to their website to learn more. Reach out. She's here to help. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you, everyone.